Hello, and welcome back to Code in 5 Minutes with Zoom. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this Code in 5 Minutes, we're going to finish off our last Code in 5 Minutes. I'm so sorry about that. Where we're making an Angry Birds type game, and let's go in and, and take a look. So we're flinging right now. We have, uh, well, what was done before. Let's have a look. We'll open that up a bit and refresh. I'm using Atom and that's just a browser plus. So we have now a ball that we can throw. This is what we made in the last five minutes, a ball that we can throw at a tower and knock down the tower. But what we're hoping to do is make a sort of a slingshot maneuver rather than just us ah, picking it up. Okay, so we're going to try and code that slingshot in five minutes. Now, Zim doesn't actually have, uh, or Box2D does not have a slingshot uh, capability built into it. So we're going to have to just fashion the slingshot capability. And we might tidy up a few things in here. Uh, one thing that we might want to look at is when we start, the ball falls to the ground. If we're using a slingshot, we want to then pull that ball back. Well, if it's on the ground, it's just going to slingshot along the ground. So we want to start the ball just hanging up there. And when we pick it up, that's when the slingshot will happen. Also with the slingshot, we might want to see the line that we're pulling, and that sort of helps us aim. And we can put graphics in here quite easily. I think we've done a previous code in five minutes where we had a soccer ball and we were kicking that around. So just see the previous code in five minutes to see how to easily make graphics on these. Is basically just load in the graphics and put them put them here. We'd use an asset instead of a, a new circle, just asset circle or asset bird or whatever it is, soccer ball, etc. All right, so that's enough of a pre uh, pre ramble pre 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 ramble, I guess. Let's um, let's get coding, shall we, so that we can start this uh, this five minute ticker and see if we can add that sling in five minutes. All right, wish us luck. So uh, let's see how we start the timer now, and is it going? Yeah, there goes the timer. Okay, so what do we have to do? First of all, if we want to make the ball not move to start, we can set its dynamic property, dynamic, to false, like that. Now the ball will start and, and it'll just stay there. However, we can't drag it if it's not dynamic. So when we mouse down on it, we will say uh, ball, or what is it, circle, dot on, mouse, down, we're going to do a few things. We'll call an arrow function, first of all. And in here, we would then say uh, circle dot dynamic equals true. And as soon as we do that, when we mouse down, we'll be able to drag it. And so now we can drag it because we turned it dynamic, and there it is uh, being itself there. Uh, the other thing we'll want to do is add to it circle dot start x. We need a start x and a start y is equal to circle dot x. And we'll do the same thing for the y. The start y is equal to the circle's y property. Um, that's good. And let's see, we also need to start drawing a line. So we're going to need a line. We can make a zim line if we want. Um, const line is equal to a new line like that. We'll start it off at zero and thickness of three and we'll make it purple. So it has a length of zero and we'll dot add to. Okay, so with the line, you've got a choice. Adding two is just gonna put it at zero, zero in the top left corner. And that will allow us to draw a line as we, um, let's see, probably we'll start a ticker here. Let's start a ticker, and that would be like this, uh, let ticker. We're going to need access to this tickler. <laughs> we're going to need access to this ticker on the outside of this mouse down, because we're going to, um, when we uh, press up, we're going to have to remove the ticker. A ticker is something that animates all the time, so uh, this is ticker is equal to a ticker dot add. So we're going to add this arrow function right here. What this arrow function is going to do is it's going to change the line. Line dot, uh, what was the method of that? Um, I think set points. 
points is what it's called. And we're going to go from the circles.start x to the circles. Oh, uh, sir, well, start x and start y, so let's we'll copy that. Copy, paste. And we'll go to the circles.x and the circles.y, like that. So that draws a line from the starting positions to the current position. Uh, and it will keep on like uh, changing the line for that. And then when we press up, oh, when we press up, oh, come on. <laughs> when we circle dot on press up, we'll call this arrow function. And at that point, we'll remove the ticker. So that looks like a ticker dot remove ticker dot remove the um, ticker. That's a reference to it. What we'll also do is we'll take the line dot remove from the stage. We'll remove that, which means we'll need to add it each time. So maybe we won't dot add to there. We can say line dot add to the stage at that point. Uh, we might also want to say line somewhere. We're going to have to say line dot uh, length is equal to zero to clear it from the previous length that we that we made. Okay, let's just see what happens now. I, I don't know. If we, oh, hey, not bad. It's it's on top of the ball. Um, so let's make it so it's not on top of the ball. And that would be when we add it to the stage. We'll go. Uh, well, add to the stage at zero. So that's a nice, easy way to do it. And now we just have to make the force. So in here, we'll make our force. We'll go uh, circle dot impulse. This is an impulse force. And that impulse force is just going to be a little equation. And that equation is, um, oh, well, uh, <laughs> I'm so close. All I have to do is put in that equation. It's not long. And we've only got how much long? Oh, that's it. Oh, let's stop the clock. Doop. <laughs> Did I stop it? There we go. Stop the clock and give, give me a break. If I could have just typed faster, uh, we would have made it. All right. So that equation is merely the circle's uh, start x. Right here, circle start x minus circle dot x. Um, that's all. And circle dot start y minus the uh, circle dot y. There we go. Okay, <laughs> you ready? <laughs> bum, bum, bum. So we refresh here. I pull it back and I shoot it. Come on, there we go. And I pull it back and I shoot it. It's like, can you believe it? The circle nearly stayed up on the top of the tower. Okay, let's try her again. So here we go. We pull back and whoop. Yeah! Woo -hoo! So um, what do you think? Not bad, huh? We pretty well made that. And if you needed to increase the strength of that, you can multiply these numbers. So if we put brackets around that, we could say times two. And now, uh, and same with this one, brackets around that, um, times two, and it would be sort of twice as powerful. The impulse force would be twice as powerful. <laughs> if we need it. <laughs> still sits in there. Uh, maybe we could set some, some friction on, on these things. Sometimes a tower won't fall as easily as you hope. And to, to set a friction, as you add the um, physics here, you can say friction, colon, well, zero, this is what zero would look like. I, I don't know exactly what that's gonna look like, but let's see. Oh yeah, it just like, <laughs> look at that, it just like everything just slides all over the place. Okay, that's, that's too little friction, I don't know, 0.2 or something like that. I, I can't even remember what the default friction is. But um, that looks decent enough, I suppose. Can possibly that could work? Also, we have default borders or um, borders on the physics world. You can remove certain borders if you need to, uh, and so that way the tower would fall off off the screen. <laughs> Punk. Alrighty, that is very cool. This code will be up as well. If you want to see, once again, getting images in there is no problem. Not bad. So an Angry Birds type physics game 
in 10 minutes. <laughs> Code in 10 minutes with Zim. Dum, dum, dum. Oh, yeah. So hopefully you guys are happy about that. I mean, it's not too bad. Huh? Zim makes uh, things quite easy. This has been a Code in 5 Minutes twice with Dr. Abstract and Zim. All the best. Come into zimjs.com slash slack if you want to hang with us. We'd love to see you there. Ciao.